Welcome to the One Beautiful Yes podcast. I'm Tiana Dodson, and I'm your host. I'm a fat health coach, and I'm out to destroy the belief that you have to be skinny to be happy and healthy. In this episode, my very first, I'll introduce myself, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what to expect from this podcast. So let's get started. Today, I'm Tiana. I'm a fat health coach. But before I was all that, I was Tiana, the frequent dieter. Like many women, I got the message early and often that my body was too large to be acceptable. I tried lots of different things because of that. I counted, I weighed, I portioned, and I measured, and I detoxed, and I lost weight, and I gained it all back, plus some. But like so many other dieters, I started to do that cool, you know, focusing on my health thing and making lifestyle changes, even though this was simply a better way to be on a diet and lose that damned weight, hopefully for good. So I went to go see a health coach who I thought had all the answers for me. And while we worked together, I didn't get any smaller. However, I did learn how to enjoy eating vegetables, go figure, (laughs) and I found out that I had a passion for nutrition. But most importantly, I learned that I loved her job. It just seemed to fit so well with my desire to help people and my new love of nutrition. So I decided to try out health coaching for myself. So most health coaches focus on getting people to eat more greens and lose weight. and. For me, I really had a hard time with that lose weight part of it because it just wasn't something I had ever sustainably achieved. By the time I started my health coaching career, I had found a happy medium with my weight and my body. I mean, I felt good. My blood work looked good. I was active and I was just, I was happy. But I just kept getting this message that my body was too big to be healthy. It just wasn't possible. And I I couldn't reconcile what I was experiencing to what I was being told. It just didn't make sense to me. So I went looking for information, studies, research, anything that would prove one or the other of them right. And this led me to the concept of health at every size um, by Dr. Linda Bacon. And it was exactly what I was looking for. It was science-based proof that it was possible to be both fat and healthy, actually at the same time. So I had found my place and I wanted to help others like me find it too. In doing this work and finding my specific place within the larger whole of fat activism, size acceptance, and health promotion, I realized a few things that make up my approach. So here's my manifesto. Number one. You can't hate yourself to health. When you hate yourself or your body, you will do whatever you can to change. And it's that whatever that makes a difference here. Whatever usually is what leads us to extreme behaviors that do not help us in the long run, even though they may achieve what we want in the short run. Number two, the first step to health is to love your body as is, no matter what. Because when love is your motivation, you will tend to do things that nurture you. You focus on positive actions. You'll stay away from things that are harmful or painful or violent. You might even find that your reasons for wanting to change begin to change. Number three, if you don't like yourself when you're fat, you're certainly not gonna like yourself when you're thin. What you see in the mirror has more to do with how you feel about yourself than how much you weigh or how big or small your body is. If your insides aren't what you want them to be, your outsides won't be that either. Number four, health is holistic. Your mental health is just as, if not more important than your physical health. It's really hard to drink water or eat greens or get in a good walk if you're depressed or feel like your life is falling apart. Being healthy is about all of you, not just your blood work. Number five, avoid deprivation at all costs because pleasure is a must. 
When you keep yourself from enjoying things, from feeling good, your lovely brain is gonna find a way to get that good feeling spike in somehow. This is when we, we turn to those so-called guilty pleasures. So let's focus on pleasures that make us happy without the guilt first. So that's what I'm about. And now you know what it is and what informs my work, where my passion for all of this comes from, and what you can expect to hear about when you're listening to me. And since I really want this to be a conversation between the two of us, and not just me talking at you, I wanted to share a short list of promises so that you can know exactly what to expect from me as we start this conversation. So my first promise is that it will always be an uphill battle. I know that doesn't sound great, but growth and progress can be difficult. The truth is that you get better getting up each time you fall. So don't worry, each step is more rewarding than the last. Number two, I will always believe in you. I've been where you are, and now I'm on this side of the fence, working to move us all forward. You can do it. Helping you along is what I'm here for. My third promise to you is that I will never bullshit you. My stuff is science backed, and all the stuff I share about my experiences is honest. It is of the utmost importance to me that I am authentic. It might not always be pretty, <laughs> but that's life. Neither of us win if I'm not being myself. My fourth promise to you is to meet you where you are and work with you at a pace that's comfortable for you. I can't force you to move faster than you are capable or comfortable with moving. And I don't expect you to start anywhere except for where you are. Your progress is your own. I'm here to hold your hand. That's my job. My fifth promise is that I have no agenda besides helping you be you better. Fuck all that be a better you stuff. You know, you're already pretty awesome. But I'm really sure that you're not playing as big as you could. So I want to help you stop hiding those bright, shiny parts of yourself. Other people can benefit from seeing you be you your best way. And my sixth promise is that you don't have to diet. There is nothing at all wrong with being fat. It's completely true, 100%. Fat doesn't mean ugly, it doesn't mean lazy, it doesn't mean worthless or incapable. You can be fucking fantastic no matter your body size. Let's focus on that instead, huh? So that's what you can expect from me. I mean, <laughs> I've had such a great time talking about this with you today and because this is the first podcast uh episode i wanted to give you a present to thank you for being here and sticking with me to the end so when you're surrounded by diet lies it's really easy to start to feel disconnected from yourself uh disconnected from your body and that's why i've created a body scan meditation for you i gently guide you through a relaxing process of reconnecting with your physical feelings. And this helps you to redevelop trust with your body, which is the first step to learn to love and appreciate your body again. Normally you can only get this as part of my Rediscover Your Body six week e-course, but because you joined me today, I'm giving it to you for free. You can get it by going to my website and checking out the show notes for episode one at the one beautiful yes podcast.com or at tiana dodson.com so thank you very much for joining me and i really just can't wait to continue our conversation next time and as always if you have any questions or comments you can get in touch with me by email at tiana t-i-a-n-a at tiana dodson d-o-d-s-o-n.com or at One Beautiful Yes on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. And if you like the podcast, then please rate, review, or subscribe, or do all three. 
And until next time, I have been Tiana, your fat health coach.